Hi, my name is Connor Ferguson. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky, and I'm a junior at Trinity High School. My interests include playing lacrosse, golf, hanging out with friends, and most importantly, being involved in politics. I first got interested in politics after my dad took me to a political event. The event that my dad took me to was actually the first time I was able to meet uh, Senator Mitch McConnell, as well as Senator Rand Paul and some state elected officials such as Senator Ernie Harris from Kentucky. At that event, I was able to ask them what young people like myself could do in order to get involved into politics. What they told me was actually pretty simple, just to always remain active in your community and what you believe in. I saw on the news that President Trump was coming to Louisville for a cam campaign rally, and I asked my dad if we could go, so we did. I didn't really know what to expect going into the rally, but when I got there, I was truly amazed at what I saw. There was people from all different backgrounds and all different ages, especially so many younger kids. And this really showed me that politics, to say it blatantly, wasn't just for old people and that young kids could get involved as well. After being at that rally, I realized just how significant that election was and I knew that no matter who won, I wanted to be able to go to the inauguration. So I did end up getting tickets to the inauguration and I went, I actually woke up at five in the morning the day of the inauguration and had to take the subway into DC. They had all the roads blocked off and it was just unlike anything I had ever seen before. I actually was just 50 yards from President Trump when he was inaugurated. It was just a truly amazing thing to witness. After I returned home from the inauguration, I knew that I really wanted to be involved in politics. The next step for me after that was getting involved with the Young Republicans Club at school. I was able to gain 30 to 40 members into the club and word quickly spread about it so much that a local politician reached out to me. The politician that reached out to me was the Kentucky Speaker of the House, David Osborne, and he was reaching out to me to see if I could help in any way on his campaign. At our next meeting, I went to everybody in the club and told them that he had reached out and everybody was just so excited and looking to help out that we very quickly found ways to help his campaign. We went out and door knocked on over 4,000 houses. We made phone calls and really just did anything we could. That's really not bad for a group of 15, 16, and 17 year olds. And I like to think that it really made a difference because he did win his reelection and he's still the speaker of the house today. After that election, I had somebody else reach out to me, this time a candidate for mayor of Louisville. I took those same group of kids that I had in my Young Republicans Club and went out to do somewhat of the same campaign events that we did for the Speaker of the House. So now at this point, I've been to several campaign events, presidential rallies, the inauguration, and I've helped out on various campaigns around the state of Kentucky. I just knew that I wanted to go back to DC. And for me, that was taking part in the United States Senate page program. In order to become a United States Senate page, it is a pretty detailed process. You have to be able to display high academic achievements, leadership ability, and extracurricular activities. In addition to this, you have to write an essay and be able to obtain three letters of recommendation. One must be from a teacher. What was pretty cool about this is I was able to use my previous political experience to knock out two of those letters of recommendation and then still be able to get my third one from a teacher from school. Looking back now, the application wasn't really the hardest part. The hardest part was just waiting to find out if I was selected. They only picked 30 students from across the entire country, so I just had in the back of my head that this was a highly selective program, and that if I did get selected, it was gonna be a pretty big deal. I was at school when I was first notified that I had been selected to the program. I was excited that I was at school when I got notified because I was immediately able to go tell all of my friends about it, who were just as excited as I was, which really made it pretty cool. Going back to DC for the summer meant being away from my friends and family, which was hard at first, but it got a lot easier as time went by. One thing that was really interesting is you are living in a house with 29 other students that got selected to the program and no one is allowed to have their cell phone, which at first was very hard for a bunch of teenagers to deal with. But what you find is that it's a lot easier to socialize and you really get a lot closer that way. We really got to do a lot of cool things together outside of working in the Capitol. 
Um, some things we did was we went to a Nationals baseball game. We went around and saw all the different monuments in DC. And on the weekends, we would have free time to really just do whatever we wanted to do. This could be anything from going to a coffee shop to hang out or going on a run or even just going to a park to throw a football or play basketball. But one of the coolest things that we did together that I'll always remember was we were able to go to the top of the Capitol Rotunda and take a picture. And that's just something that not a lot of people get to do. As far as work days would go, we would wake up pretty early. It would just depend on the Senate schedule um, for what we were doing that day. But we would start by reporting to either the Democratic or Republican cloakroom, depending on um, what party you were at page four. And we would begin by just setting up the Senate chamber and preparing any senator's desk who had to speak that day or were speaking that morning when we arrived. And we would also get to be in there with Chaplain Black and Senator Grassley for the prayer and pledge every morning. As far as Capitol access goes, we had pretty much full access to the Capitol, which is pretty cool being a high school student and being able to say that. Um, pages are the most recognizable people in the Capitol behind the senators, just because pages are the only people in the Capitol required to wear a standardized uh, uniform. As far as actually working on the Senate floor, there's lots of different jobs and responsibilities for pages to have. One being someone always has to be on the phone communicating back and forth with the cloakroom and another page always has to be on point. The page that is on point will always go up to a senator when they are done speaking and collect their speech to give it to the amendments desk on the Senate floor. Other pages during this time can be setting up other senators' desks to speak, getting senators water, and really just whatever's needed from the cloakroom. The cloakroom is essentially a hub for the senators, and there's one for Republicans and one for Democrats, and they're separated on each side of the Senate floor, and it's just a place for senators to go and gather their thoughts before they speak, or really just communicate information through their offices to the Senate floor. The most important thing that I did on the Senate floor personally was I was able to collect a speech from Senate Majority Leader McConnell after he finished talking about the 9-11 first responders bill, which was really the most talked about thing while I was in DC. So to be able to collect that speech and just be a part of that was pretty cool. If I had to give advice to somebody looking to be a page, I would say, don't be afraid to put yourself out there Remain an active leader in your school and in your community. And most of all, be open to other people's opinions and ideas because at the end of the day, you are going to be living with 29 other high school students from across the country who all share different beliefs than you. How do I wish to make an impact on my generation in politics? Well, I like to think that I'm a clear example that age doesn't really matter in politics and that you can start at any point and but more importantly than that that our generation has the opportunity to change the way we debate and to be able to have political discourse in a way that's not hateful and to just be able to talk about things in a more appropriate manner because i think that more appropriate debate such as that really helps speed up the political process rather than slowing it down as far as my future in politics I see myself interning in the near future in my state capital in Frankfort, Kentucky. And then after that, I've been accepted to the University of Louisville, where I plan on obtaining a political science degree. And during that time, I would like to go back to DC to take part in some internships there. And then after graduation, I have a stretch goal of becoming the youngest senator for the state of Kentucky.